Welcome to Trackbill. I'm Tom from the Trackbill team. This is the first in a series of videos we call our Video User Guide. The videos are designed to help our subscribers quickly and easily learn how to use all of our powerful legislative tracking features. In this video, I'll show you how to get started tracking legislation just minutes after you sign up. The first thing I'm going to do is log in using the email address I used when I signed up. After logging in, you'll see I'm immediately taken to my dashboard. On the left side of my dashboard, I can choose my Action Alert settings. This is where I select the frequency of email alerts for new actions affecting my tracked items. I can choose any combination of real-time, daily, or just a weekly alert every Monday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Since we're just getting started, I recommend to choose all three, and if you start to get too many emails, you can change your settings anytime. Now, since we've just signed up, the middle of my dashboard is empty because I'm not tracking any legislation yet. So the first thing we'll need to do is search for legislation that's important to us by clicking here on the orange button that reads, Start Tracking Bills. Now we want to focus on the box on the left that reads, Bill Search. We'll start with a search term that might be important to us, like beer. Next, we choose which legislature to search. We can choose to search all 50 states in Congress at once, or we can choose an individual state. Let's select Illinois. You'll now see a drop-down box where we can search a specific legislative session. Now this box automatically defaults to the current session, so I'm going to keep it there because right now I'm only interested in current legislation. Now let's scroll through the results. We use an algorithm in our search results that automatically serves you the most relevant results first. Look, the first bill is Illinois HB 3237. That's one that's definitely important to me, so I'll click on the box with the star to start tracking it. And this one, HR 431 for craft breweries, and this one, HB 4055 for craft distillers. Okay, let's take a peek at more of the information available under each bill. We'll click on HB 3237. Here we see multiple layers of information about the bill, starting with a summary. I can also see all the actions, sponsors, full text, amendments, and which committees are involved. So say I'm interested in seeing the sponsors of this bill. I click here on sponsors and I then see all of their names. I can click on the name and I can see more info. So let's click on the name of the primary sponsor, Sarah Feigenholz. Here's her biography, contact information, all the other bills she sponsored, her committees, and the previous sessions she served. Well, this has piqued my interest, so say I want to start tracking Rep. Feigenholz herself. I just click the box with the star and start tracking. Now, let's scroll down to the committees she's serving. Here we see she's the chairperson of the Adoption Reform Committee, and we click on that committee to start tracking it too. Now, let's return to our dashboard by clicking on the upper left where it reads My Dashboard. And we can see we're now tracking three bills, one committee, and one legislator. Well, that's how you get started using the TrackBill Legislative Tracking Platform. You can continue to learn from the other videos in our video user guide. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel to get updates on new videos. And remember, if you ever get stuck or have a question, just click on the Online Chat With Us button on the lower right of your screen, and we'll help you right away. Or if it's after hours, you can leave us a message, and we'll get back to you just as soon as possible. Thanks for using TrackBill.